Hi, I am Dr. Avilash Pasare, practicing implantologist from Bangalore. With 15 years of experience in this field, I have two dental implant centers in HSR 2nd and 6th sector. In order to get a predictable or successful results among dental implants, a dental implantologist requires sufficient bone width and height. For example, a 4 mm of dental implant width to be placed in the mouth, the implantologist requires around 6 mm of bone, that is around 2 mm of bone on either side. As well, for placing a dental implant of 5 mm height, you require around 6 to 7 mm of bone height for a good stability. If these dental implants are placed in deficient bone, then there may be a bone loss, tissue loss, exposure of these dental implants. In long term, there may be a failure of these dental implants. In upper posterior teeth, the sinus cavity may lead to a deficient bone because the sinus may have come down. In such cases, bone grafting is required to attain to get sufficient amount of bone thickness, sufficient amount of bone width, sufficient amount of bone height. or the dental implant may half be present inside the sinus that may lead into infections. Thus, a success or the failure of dental implants completely depends on the thickness of bone, especially the width and height of the bone.